All right, what's going on guys? It's your boy SNA team. Today we're doing something a little bit different than the usual rhythm games I've been posting. Uh, we're actually playing Minecraft Java Edition. This is a uh, version 1.17.1. Uh, this is Caves and Cliffs Part 1. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and start a new world. We'll call this uh, Swag Time. You gotta know what's going on here. Uh, and you know what? We'll actually make this a hardcore survival. We'll see how long we can keep this one going. Uh, game rules, I'm gonna leave everything to the default, you know, haven't done anything beforehand. Uh, no data packs, and uh, let's just get going on this. Okay, here we are, gonna go ahead and pause for a second. Um, oh, that didn't even help it load at all. Well, I guess first thing we're doing is we're getting wood, it's the first thing you gotta do every game, am I right? But we are on hardcore, so we do have to worry about starving to death. So this first this first video is going to be a bit slow. It's going to be basically setting up, getting ready to um, cover the basics, you know. Uh, get a simple farm going, which I've got a bit of a river right here I already saw. Probably going to set up a simple wheat farm. Uh, but there are fish, so we shouldn't have to worry about that too much. Also, it's a pinch light for my liking. I'm going to turn that down a bit. Um... That fish should make it so we don't have to worry too much. We got some bees. Um, kind of have to go with what we've got. Double check my frame rate. Something's being a little funny here. Just... We're in distance 12. Yeah, we're hitting a bit better. Um, got some seeds. Uh, over here we've got some sheep, which is going to be very valuable. We'll let us get a bed skip the first night. Uh... Because that's going to be the harshest part of starting. Uh, we'll go ahead and get us a... I'm going to go ahead and get a pickaxe to start. We're going to use this pickaxe. We're going to go over here. We're going to get some stone. It's going to let us get a get a stone axe. Which will let us uh, hopefully one-shot the sheep. I already found some iron though. So we'll go ahead and get uh, enough to get a pickaxe as well. Go ahead and get six stone. And uh, should be should be rocking with it. Got that nice Minecraft music tuning in. Maybe we'll just have a bit of a chill time while we do this. Uh, I don't think we will. We're going to use this as the Anthem of Slaughter. First life has been taken. And uh, there's black sheep. There's two more white sheep. I could save them, start breeding with them. But we're in a hardcore world. What's the point? Um, we'll probably just move somewhere else, find a sheep or find cows. Find something that will give us a little bit more. Because I don't need a whole lot of wool, especially at the start. Later on, you know, get a get a spider farm, get silk, get something to make your wool. Um, well, we've got our bed made now, what we're about to. I uh, get that first night skip, got a little bit of food, um, and then we'll go ahead and get a pickaxe. I suck at this. All right, we got a pickaxe, we've got an axe, we've got a bed, and uh, I suppose now we just want to go ahead and grab some wood, grab some, uh, we'll grab that iron that we saw. It's, it's very, very prominent, very, very much just sitting out in the open for us, to our liking. I uh, got a bit of a ravine, actually, and that's, that's a mine shaft. And that's a, that's a big fall. That's not big, but enough for me to say, ow. Uh, let's go ahead and get this iron, though. We got a very strong start to this hardcore world. Once we've got this iron, probably go back up to the surface, get some wood, uh... We have a bed. We don't really need to worry all that much. We need a little bit more food. I see that iron, but right now we've got nine, which is enough to uh, get us a chest plate. That's probably all we need to really get us started. Uh, while I'm down here, I'll go ahead and pick up the stone to get a furnace. We can go ahead and get a furnace now. We've got the nine that we need. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and just bust out of this cave. All right. And uh, probably make our way towards that wood. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get our get our journey started. Uh, I got some more sheep, so we didn't need to worry about killing those guys, actually, after all. I do like this mountain. I might stick around here. There's not much of a reason to stick to a spawn, but we'll roll with what we've got. We'll roll with what we've got. Alright, right down here, we're gonna go ahead and get a little simple workstation built. Uh, go ahead and get us a nice little furnace. In this furnace, we'll start cooking up our food that we've got. And while we do that, we'll get wood. Probably get a little get a little turd built up. 
nothing nothing too wrong with a little turd. Um, it's the big turds you gotta worry about. We just want just want something to be safe while we cook our cook our iron. Um, but depending on the day, because it's high noon, uh, we could honestly go get go get some coal. Uh, right now we've got our food. We'll go ahead and start cooking this up. I need a little bit more, don't I? Yep. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and put a little bit more in there. I'm gonna see if we can't find some uh, find some iron. We're early enough in. If I start a farm, yeah, we're gonna go get that coal. Uh, we'll start a farm and then we'll kill these guys off. That way we have something started while we have no actual actual food. Just thinking out loud here. Uh, hopefully, yep. I thought I saw some. Right above our cave. So we're going to have that little bit of iron. Nope, that's not iron. Coal. Uh, and we're getting ready to go right down into that mine. Once we have a good little setup, that'll probably be about uh, episode one. I'm lying. We've got plenty of time, guys. You've been trolled, you've been this isn't our five minute OS video anymore. Mining's a very uh, peaceful, calming part of the game. It's my favorite part. Just sit down, do nothing. Uh, just enjoy your time and go. Got that iron cooked up. Uh, once we've got this, we'll go back, get it, and uh, we've got nine. Really, we could, instead of just building a chest plate, go ahead and grab a, a better pickaxe. But, I'd rather have the armor so that we can go underneath. Um, yeah, because there'll, there'll be more iron. We can go ahead and uh, suit up once we get down there, but... We'll start with a little bit of iron, that way we can actually survive our first delve into the, into that cave. Um, and everything should be good to go. We're gonna see, we're gonna see what we can do with the first, first bit of time that we spend in this world. Alright, so right over here we've got our iron, should be done cooking up, cool. Uh, and go ahead and get our chest plate, and uh, we have that extra piece. Don't have a shovel yet, why not? Uh, and then from here, we'll go ahead and get... ...torches. And we'll go ahead and jump straight down into that mine. Uh, we've got... <sighs> we shouldn't yet. We need... We need something for food. We need anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get a really simple farm set up for wheat. And we're going to go ahead and uh, claim the lives of the sheep we found. Add on over here. We've got our first sheep. There's a couple over here. Oh, I didn't let it charge. That sucks. I'm uh, getting a little bit extra wool, so we might as well set up a little chest before we go down too. There's something to store all the junk we don't need, because I've got some sticks on me. Um... We don't need those sticks, do we? All right. And on over here, we've got more sheep. Get some lamb. Ooh, no, don't fall in. Ah, oh, it fell in. Uh, do a quick little peek. There's a spider in here, a creeper. I'm gonna go ahead and just get out of this uh, before Mr. Creeper finds us. And I believe there was one more sheep. Unless that was the one more. Nope, there he is. Okay, cool. Oh, there's two. Alright. We'll get this going. Um, and then with that, we just want some seeds. Let's do about 16. 16 is probably good if we can get that. Uh, I just make our way over to the ocean. Uh, yeah, got what we need. There's a little bit of a beach. Five, six, ten. Uh, and seventeen. Get a get one of our first achievements. What do we got? That's not our first. Uh, that's a good start to the world. We're gonna see, play Stone Age. 
and um, suit up. So, uh, it's about time to go ahead and hit the hay real quick. We're going to get the mutton cooking. And, oh, we haven't suited up. There we go. Respawn point for a growing game. We don't respawn. Just perfect. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll go ahead and let that cook. While we do that, we can go ahead and finish getting some farms set up. Um, before we make our first delve in to the caves. I uh, got another four or five seeds. There we go. That should be should be plenty safe. And uh, since we're gonna be going under, let's go and give it some light. Just in case we take too long down there. Now while well, we've got this, we're gonna go ahead and get a chest set up. And get a nice little double chest and set that guy right here. Uh, we don't need a whole lot of what's in my inventory right now. We're gonna go ahead and keep, of course, the, the tools that we've got minus the hoe. Uh, extra torches will be good, and we're gonna take some extra wood down there. Um, but there is like a, a mine shaft, so we don't really need to worry too much about wood. Uh, we've got that axe. Uh, we'll take a little bit of extra cobble that we've got. And that should be what we need. So we got that. We'll go ahead and just jump down and take this uh, take this furnace. Go. There we go. And we're making our first jump into the caves. Second jump into the caves. We did get that first iron. All right. So something I'm thinking in retrospect is I should have got a bucket. I didn't. That's okay. We're going to figure this out. We've got some guys to deal with down there. Uh, shouldn't be too big of an issue. Uh, out of this iron, we'll go ahead and get started up with a, a bucket or a pickaxe. Unless we've got enough for both. And it, we might not have enough for either. Okay, cool. We're at least getting uh, four. And we'll go ahead and get this little furnace right here. And I think this first one will do... Do a pickaxe, yeah. Make getting down there a little faster. We see some copper. Uh, is there any in the walls we can go get? Yeah, my pickaxe is half busted. We're gonna go get that car. Get that coal. And, uh... We'll get that pickaxe first. We got our four iron. Go ahead and make that uh, crafting table once more. And need those sticks. Cool. We get iron pick. And I guess now we're going to go ahead and just make our way down. I want to just jump in. Uh, we want to check those walls, make sure there's nothing really out here. There's that uh, glow vine. Let's go ahead and make it way. Uh, went a little faster than I wanted to. Creeper definitely found us. Get the, uh, get the rim lit up a bit. There's definitely a spider. Uh, Got some spare iron right here. We can get suited up to the best of our abilities before we jump straight into those mobs. But, uh, I think, you know, really keep this series going. So, uh, we're gonna be a little slow. We're gonna be a little, a little cautious right here at the start. And just make our way right on over. I might have just looked at that enderman, but that's just fine. He's not mad. And get some light. And we've got tin, that's a pair of pants. There we go. 
Clean my inventory up a pinch. I know about you, but uh, I'm not really a fan of diorite or granite. That's a lie. I use both of them pretty regularly. You've been trolled, you've been but, uh, just being in my inventory mining, don't have a real use for them yet. We'll use them later. Should be iron about here. Yep. Another three. And we'll get that cooking. And that looks like that's all that's really in the walls. No, we missed a little bit right there. It's going to be up. Cool. Just one. That's fine. It's one more than we just had. Not really liking that spider too much, though. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and use this seven that cooks up. Get some pants on. Go ahead and you know what? I already had the extra. That's fine. Uh, I need to go ahead and get some food into our bellies. Let's go ahead and get to munching. Hmm. I want to jump straight into there. We're gonna go ahead and finish up this iron. We're gonna be one short of a full suit, and that that sucks a little bit, but. Life goes on. We're, we're going to be fine. We got this. Let that cook up. That way we only have to cook up one more to get a full suit. Plus, we're already burning the coal. There's a lot of guys out here that I'm not particularly a fan of. Uh, that baby zombie. Not something I really want to play with. Um, there's enough mobs that I maybe want something faster than the axe. But, we've got what we've got. We're going to have to live with it for now. Uh, right here we got some coal. We don't need a whole lot of coal right now. Got some more iron. There we go. Get that full suit built up real quick. Cool. And uh, grab enough to get a sword. Sweet. Uh, and we should now have our full set very soon. I want that sword, because this place is a little scarier than I had anticipated. I don't need a whole lot of that axe right now, actually. Anything down there? There is a zombie, so... If you don't walk on the tracks, we'll be fine. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get... That. And that. Sweet, there we go. Maybe we do still want the axe. That'll be fine. Uh, we don't need to really let that cook right now. Go ahead and just uh, clear these guys out. Got some chains we can take. Uh, that must be the deep slate. Kind of a new block. Haven't really seen it too much. Uh, there's some skeletons. So I want to kind of build a brace out. Before I walk into this. Okay, so they're like right around that corner. It's fine. We'll be fine. Uh, go ahead and drop this off because I'm not using that. And they're here. Gave me a bit of a jump scare. That's cool. The skeletons actually have a bit of a trick that I don't have enough space to really do right now. But uh, if you just walk around them going uh, kind of clockwise, uh, they can't really shoot you. They'll try to aim ahead. The aim just off. You'll be fine. Um, let's see, we've got lots and lots of lava, so I think we will go ahead and bring that table back out. Let two more iron cook. We're gonna get that um, we're gonna get that bucket going. Um, that way we can kind of cover up all that lava. Once we jump down, uh, we'll get a bucket of water from you know one of the side pillars. We'll be fine. Uh, I got some more iron up there. Don't really need that right now. We'll be okay. I could get some shears. Um, I don't feel a real need for it, though. So, uh, we won't be doing that. That, uh, that lava 
means that we're probably around Y13 down there. Y, Y11. We're gonna go ahead and get our bucket made. Got some bonus iron and... We're good to go. You can go ahead and just jump in. Um, I could probably make that jump, but I wanna go ahead and just get that lava cleared up, so we're gonna go down here. And uh, I got a piece of salmon. Lots of iron up there, lots of coal. Well, we're super sad on resources for now, though. Okay. Uh, I got some lapis, so there's a bit of a trick to the lapis, which uh, I'll go ahead and show off since I have this opportunity. And, um... I suppose we'll call that game for where we're at. And block this off. And, uh, double check... Double check my guess on our Y level. So we're we're almost at the end of the series right there. Um, so we're we're Y eleven. We're we're where we can find diamonds. So don't need to worry too much. Uh, that creeper gave me the small start attack I've had in a minute. Uh, well, I haven't had a heart attack in a minute. So Lapis, what you want to do is uh, you can do F3 and G, pull up chunk borders. You can see that this guy is actually right at the border. Um, but we're looking south here, so we want to look north here. And uh, my trick isn't going to work because I can't get through this obsidian. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. We're going to keep going. I'm going to turn that music down a pinch. We don't want to turn it off. It's nice. But it's a bit loud. We'll keep that there. That way we can know to uh, dig once we've got our first bit of diamond. Uh, the trick to, to Lapis is if you go four blocks in the north direction of Lapis in the same chunk um, and dig down, you have a good chance of finding a diamond. It's been uh, rather consistent in uh, what I've played so far. I can get the gold. We can get a piglin trading started. So they do make it to the nether. Probably nothing. Unless there's something. Alright. Cover it up to here. And, uh... There's a bit more. I'm gonna actually leave that lava. And, uh, be very careful not to touch that roof. Uh, right here we'll cover up. Let's drop a torch. And, uh, we're about out of diamond range now. We just left it. Sweet. All right. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I like to do is just run and mine and go. Um, however, I turn my brain off when I do it and I forget to speak. Cool. Uh, so we're going to double check what we were facing. We just found some more lapis. Uh, right here is west. So we're going to go ahead and go north. F3G, pull up um, chunk borders. And uh, we should be pretty fine right here. So we've got iron, or lapis right here. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. And uh, right here is where we're going to start digging down. And dig down in a two. And uh, let's see, let's see if our little lapis trick works. We're going to cobbled, and there it is. There is our first diamond. This is the first one we saw. Uh, we're going to give this one the special event. We're going to give it, um... We're going to give it the good luck charm. So we got to go up. Our first bit of luck. This feels, uh... Almost like you have to. You know? We're going to go back over to our lava, and we're going to put a, a sacrifice in good faith to this world. Uh, we're going to give this one the special event. We're going to give it, um... And there we go. Now we can, uh, now we can really say we got our first diamonds right over here. And, uh, with this, we'll probably go back real quick, uh, go double check underneath that lava. 
at obsidian if we have enough to make a pickaxe. Um, which we do. Cool, we got a pickaxe. We're gonna go get the, the next diamonds underneath that lava that I was talking about earlier when I was first talking about the truck. Go ahead and pick this up while we're here. We don't need it anymore. Oh, I guess we need it for other reasons now. Uh, let's go ahead and get that pickaxe made. Let me use it right here. There we go. Inventory is a total mess. That's okay. And we want that iron one for now. We don't want to use the entirety of uh, the diamond. But we'll use it while we have it. Whenever mine is a stone or something, we'll probably switch back over to the iron. Not a huge uh, time difference. And uh, I've misplaced this guy right here. Sweet. And there it is. Let's go get the rest of our diamonds. I need to keep my water bucket on hand. That would be um, very useful. Got a bit of a guy we don't really want hanging out with us. It's cool though. Right over here, we're back where we were. And one, two, three. One, two, three, four. And this was here. I'm gonna go ahead and mine two out. This one will take a minute. Uh, we're not too worried about... Ooh, that's a pretty deep pit. That sucks. Um, all the extras. I think I want to go ahead and make this a little bit more safe. Just cover us up a bit. There we go. Uh, should be pretty fine from anything that comes to attack us. And that's also too deep. It's just a little unfortunate, but we'll live. Um, so there's a trick here we're going to do. We're going to try to get this water bucket right on the side as soon as we get this pulled up. Actually, if I do in this hand, we'll be fine. Cool. Right here, just onto that side of obsidian. I guess we don't really need to be fast. There we go. And then right here is going to be slightly more difficult. Uh, so I'll do that. It'll move over fast enough. Should get all the pieces we need. And maybe we can actually catch a piece of obsidian. That'd be pretty cool. All right, we got our first piece of obsidian. Um, we're now in deeper than I want to be. <laughs> but we've got this. All those fails, uh, you know, we've got, oh, I don't want to do that. That's not smart. Okay. All those fails, uh, we'll just go ahead and finish getting up at least 10 obsidian, uh, make it 14 or get that, get the corners on a portal. And, um, I'd say that's good enough to where we can start a base and we can start doing a base next episode. Right here. And I think the ground is flat. Yep. Ooh, there's going to be some more lava. Yep, there we go. And, uh, unfortunate, but we did not get the, uh, the diamonds in this dig. So it's not 100%, but that was a bad move. I shouldn't have done that one. But it's consistent enough to uh, take the time to do. Maybe not if it's in the uh, obsidian pit like I just did. But why not check it, you know? 
We'll go ahead and get that ten obsidian out. And um see that's a good little bit for now. Alright, so we've got the uh, ten obsidian for a portal, but we want to get the and get those uh corners filled in. Uh I'd worry about an enchanting table, but we haven't found a sugar cane yet. We can't even get a book. Uh, unless we find a village right now. I'll be fine. I guess while I'm down here, we'll go ahead and get all uh, get all 18 obsidian. Alright, and we're just finishing up that uh, 18th block of obsidian. Uh, we'll go ahead and make our way out. Uh, and then find where we'd set up shop. I think if we want to get out, we need to go straight up. Go ahead and get this while we're here too, before we forget it. Get some extra coal. What I want to do is move you here. Cool. Oh, I can do that. That's what I want. Sweet. So we made it up, and we need to get across. Ooh, drop creepers. That's what I dislike about ravines. Those guys will drop primed. They are not fun. All right, let's go ahead and get a, get a move on. Get us up and go to the corner. Sweet. I do want to explore. We're gonna, we're gonna take a peek right down here. We're gonna see if we can see anything. We do need we do need some of this because we want to get into the nether. We're gonna need a piece of flint. See if we can't dig any up real quick. There we go. I thought that was a prime creeper. I didn't know what. The All right, man. I didn't know what he was. He looks pretty cool though. I like him. Uh, blue squid. I don't know what they're used for. I know they give you a special like sack of ink. Uh, I don't know what it's used for. Well, let's see if we can get it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, glow ink sack. Um, do you know what they're used for? You use them to make item frames glow. Or you can make, um, signs glow. Which is, uh, pretty cool, pretty neat. Uh, do you make... No, you just use the, the ink sack, I guess. Just gonna double check, see if there's, uh, anything worth exploring down here. It looks like this might be something we come back to. Oh yeah, we've got we've got plenty to explore down here. Axolotl though, uh, pick him up. I guess we need that in our main hand. I did not know that. All right, come here. We got our first little guy. Michael, don't leave me here. <laughs> Michael, Michael, help me. From what I know, these guys only spawn underground. Uh, that might be wrong, though, but... Just what I've been told. We got a pink one. Or a, a leucistic one. Ooh. Alright, we need to move. We need to move pretty fast. Uh, I need to get out of here. There's a creeper in the pillar that I can use to get out. So, what we're gonna do... I think we can take him head on. Like, we should be fine. Might get some gunpowder. That's the worst that happens. That's not the worst that happens. The worst that happens is we die. <laughs> uh, try to get that swim up. Ooh, yeah, we got it for a second. There we go. Sweet. We made it out. Uh, we got plenty of uh, plenty of spoils from that uh, delve, and uh, we have our. Little double chest set up near our farm. We've got a turtle. I've never gotten the uh, the turtle helmet. Uh, I want to try to keep this guy. Man, we're gonna try to push him somewhere safe real quick. Get him in a hole we dig. I think that's the way I'll do it. I'll just dig him a little hole. No, 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 don't, don't you go, don't you go, don't you go. Stay up, stay up. We want you here. You're staying here. 
I don't think I'm digging a hole anymore. I think I just found out how bad of an idea the hole is. Um... I'm gonna go back. Um, shoot. A, A, no. We stand the turtle. This looks so bad. Shoot. Okay. Very small. Kind of a little heart. Kind of a really messed up heart, you know. Whoop. Um. Hopefully we can get a second one. We do have sugar cane. That's really good. Um, hopefully we can get another turtle. Uh, I won't have to make this one suffer like this. Uh, but for now. Is your friend? You're my friend now. No. Bad idea, why'd I do that? Okay. Step out of here. Um, I think next episode we'll get uh, we'll get a little bit of a base setup up here. I know that I had a seed farm planted, a wheat farm, a seed farm. Um, that thing should be roughly. Well, I thought it was here, but evidently it isn't. Uh, all oh, right, over here. Yeah, cool. Go ahead and get this planted. Get something sorted out, and, uh... There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and say bye to, uh, to our new friend, the little turtle. Uh, so thanks for coming by, and everyone. Hope you all have a great day. Uh, next episode, we'll get a little bit of a base set up. We'll probably jump into the nether a bit, see what we got going on in there. And, uh... I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. I watch Ethos Lab. <laughs>